So today our experiment is AC superposition theorem. We are going to verify the superposition theorem by doing the experiment in the lab as well as on the multisim. So this video is going to tell you how to do this in the multisim. The circuit is being provided here. We have R, L and C with two voltage sources V1 and V2. Let us see the values in the procedure. The values for C, L and R are given here. The voltage is 8 volt peak to peak and 1 kilohertz and for V2 the voltage is 10 volt peak to peak and 1 kilohertz. Be careful when you are placing the voltage value for V1 and V2. In the procedure it was given as peak to peak voltages. So now we need a AC voltage source so go to sources click on to the signal voltage source there you find the AC voltage place two voltage sources then we need a resistor inductor and capacitor all these are available in the basics so a resistor capacitor and an inductor so for every circuit to be simulated in the multisim, we need a ground. So go and place your ground as usual. So now connect the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram. So the resistor to your right, left, inductor to your right and the capacitor is placed in the middle. After giving the connection, we will change the values accordingly given in the experiment. Yes, everything is connected. Now, we will give the values for all the elements in the circuit. Capacitor is 0 0.8, so double click. 0 0.8 for mu, you have to type letter U. Then the resistor is 1.5K and inductor is 64 milli. 64 M resistor is 1.5 K then the voltage sources V1 is 8 volt peak to peak so we are keeping a peak value so 8 means peak value is 4 and frequency is 1 kilohertz the other parameters are kept as it is then the voltage V2 is 10 old peak to peak so we have to keep peak value as 5 and frequency is the same according to superposition theorem only one source should be active at a time and the remaining sources we have to cancel so first case we are going to take v1 to be active and we are going to cancel the v2 voltage source has to be short circuited the aim of this experiment is we are going to verify the superposition theorem by calculating the voltage across the capacitor so let us cancel the voltage source by short circuiting it remove the voltage source and connect a wire so that that area is short circuited take a multimeter Place the multimeter across your capacitor to measure the voltage. The multimeter is placed. Double click it. We are going to measure AC voltage. So run the simulation. So the voltage across the capacitor is 693.12 millivolt always remember that the multimeter will measure the RMS value 
Now V2 is active. Cancel the V1 source by short circuiting it. So remove the source and take a wire. So it is short circuited. We need a multimeter to measure the voltage across the capacitor. Run your simulation. The multimeter should read the AC voltage value. So it is 3.19 volt. Again, this is also an RMS value. Now we'll verify the voltage obtained across the C1 and C2 by having both the sources active. So V1 and V2 is active now. Measure the voltage across the capacitor again. Run your simulation. It's an easy voltage. So it reads 3.275. When source 1 is active, this is your voltage. When source 2 is active, this is the value of voltage. When both are active, this is the value. So when we add the voltage V1 plus V2, it will be equal to both the sources active. So thus we verify the superposition theorem. The same thing you people are going to do in the lab by connecting a discrete component and check the values whatever you got in multisim. The same you obtained in the lab experiment.